hey how's it going today so you know you're wondering maybe what to talk about if you're thinking I don't even know what I'm what am I supposed to talk about I'm supposed to be creating content every single day I'm supposed to be posting I'm supposed to come up with topics I'm like what do I talk about how do I find inspiration how do I figure out what to talk about right so we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about what to talk about how to figure it out where you go and how to keep track and constantly be posting new content so you don't ever run out of ideas so we're going to get get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So I've been creating content for like ever, right? I mean, it's it's been like five years now. It'll be five years at the end of this year that I've been creating daily content. So how do you, how do, you do that? How do you do content every single day for that long? And how do you you know keep track of what you need to talk about what you talked about already you don't want to repeat things or maybe maybe do you does that matter so let's talk about that let me just uh, share my screen here let me just set that up I haven't I'm actually back at my house as you can see from behind here that I haven't been here for like three weeks because I had to go to Montreal and then I had to do a two weeks of self-isolation because in where I live they they have that requirement which I think is great it's safe right it keeps everybody safe uh especially with the COVID thing but uh yeah so let's just get into here so first let me put the whoops wrong one. I should have got that that prepared ahead of time obviously I keep forgetting to do that before I start my videos here let's share the screen okay so we're on Google so first first of all okay so the first thing you got to ask yourself is who is your audience what are you trying to teach them who, who, what are they interested in right and if you don't know that answer that's probably the first thing you got to figure out you got to go out there you got to go find who your audience is you got to define and this is the this is one of the struggles right one of the struggles is figuring out who your audience is but the problem is you it's not about figuring it out you don't you don't figure out what your audience is you decide you choose who your audience is that's it's really that simple right just you just make the decision my audience is this my audience is is these types of people or these people or these these uh this age group or or, or a male or female or or people with kids or not kids or you choose who your audience is it's very important that you understand the difference between figuring out your audience and choosing your audience because you know figuring out your audience is kind of the same thing except that to figure it out it's just a question of deciding it's a decision it's not it's not like you know traveling around in a city or something and going to figure out who it is that you're going to want to talk to right like say you're you're trying to sell something and they're in the you know the real world the physical world where you're walking around in a town are you going to be like not sure who you talk to or are you going to be like I'm not like I got to figure out who I want to talk to no you're gonna kind of either know you're gonna talk to everybody or you're gonna or you're gonna know that okay I want to talk to people with with kids so you're gonna talk to somebody who's got <clears throat> who's walking around with their kids right and the difference with the real world right the real world in the online world is that there's lots of times where you don't know if you're walking down the street you don't know whether that person has kids or not unless unless they're with them right but even if they don't have kids with them when you're walking down the street it doesn't mean they don't have kids so the point is that on social media online you can mostly find that out right and not even not just that <clears throat> if you're if you're eventually doing ads or things like that you can actually target people that have kids because the platforms know that the person has kids or not right for example anyways that's just an example but the thing is that <clears throat> the main thing is it's more about the interest more about the background more about 
what the person is looking for right so in any case that doesn't help necessarily you to decide on your topics but it sort of does because if I go for example to Facebook well here's here's the other thing too if you aren't sure what to talk about you should be preparing yourself a list of things to talk about right so for example for me um for me I have you know my audience right let's fix the screen here make it fit a little bit better inside the little box actually I think my uh my screen here isn't exactly right let me just do that Move that down here yeah that's like that's because I resize that for something else there we go that's good let's just do that here there okay so now we basically have the whole screen except for my webcam that's there anyway so yeah so you should have a list of topics to talk about so you don't you're not struggling like me I'm not recently I haven't really been doing that I've been kind of doing it based on you okay I'm thinking okay I'm going to talk about this so I just start talking about it right create an episode on it uh but I really should have you know plan the head and that kind of stuff which I should start doing but I'm and that's what I'm going to recommend for you because that really helps to figure out okay what am I going to talk about today you can even prepare things ahead of time like me I record these 30 minute videos right so if I have 30 if it, it takes 30 minutes to record a video for me because I'm, I'm I don't really edit it I don't do anything really afterwards so I create these videos right and I and then I upload them afterwards right but the thing is that the creation of it is is something I could do anytime I could do anytime evenings I could even record two or three of them for for I could even record a bunch for the whole week if I if I really wanted to and maybe one of these days I will do that to kind of show you how that works but the idea is that the content is okay the question is how do you come up with content right and by the way if you're listening to the audio of this you really should be go checking out the the video at cis271.jsgagnon.com cis271.jsgagnon.com you're going to see the blog and the full video if you're wondering you know because I'm talking and I'm not I'm showing things here and if you're listening to the audio you wouldn't see that right but okay so how do you come up with ideas that's really the focus of this episode was how to come up with ideas so the first thing like I said you got to know who your audience is what are they interested in and one of the easiest things to do is to go on Facebook and look up groups that your audience is interested in like for me I do it's course income secrets so it's all about social media personal branding attraction marketing building a building a brand around uh, either your courses or the topics of your courses or your like in my case the platform and things like that right so then what do I do I go into these groups right uh the sorry on Facebook's right up here I go into the groups right there's uh the first thing Facebook shows you is the stuff that is that people are actually posting based on your um interest but if I look at the actual groups oh these are groups I manage sorry I should have went to here if I go to these course groups right I've got online course creators here I've got online course secrets community here I've got online course creators network right here and then of course there's a whole bunch of other networks uh, groups I'm part of right rank makers uh, affiliate marketing um, course creators community group so any of these groups I could go in and I could look at what is interesting like or what is um what's the most popular right so if I go for example into this group here which is an online course secrets group which has tons of posts right so if I look at this and see this has six comments what are some topics oh that's a perfect right what would be something that you would be interested in discussing so if I look at these comments uh, well I guess you kind of have to look at what people are saying you know personal growth how to use Pinterest whoops how to use Pinterest to generate more leads um copying it to my own. no that's not. okay MBA I guess Avnita has a group um but you know you can like through look through this right and you say okay what are people saying okay promo Friday 
uh, if I look at this uh, steal this to enroll more in the delight clients uh interested in engaging AI based app calculus AB course Oof, that seems complicated opinions please which is better producing four weeks of social media or 10 hours so that anyway so as you go through this and you see things that you're like oh how do you measure your success how do you measure your success that could be a good topic right um Udemy talking about Udemy Black Friday sale uh this is uh get coaching clients with three emails uh let's see um you're so welcome uh, my YouTube video got over 1000 views that's cool talking about YouTube platform right then what else uh in my signature start making sales so guidance and mentorship on how to like he's well this is David's group this is his uh course that he's got right so he's posting about his course uh then there's some people here that commented back and uh, that's a promo Friday this is me talking about links that are bad right I was actually explaining why are links bad in a group and then he's saying but if you're uh if all you're doing is playing along with the algorithm the expense of, of helping people navigate things then you're not a very good marketer that's an interesting uh statement uh anyways I'll have to come back and uh Thirty nine days. What are your goals for the next thirty nine days? So, how to validate your course idea? Uh, so this is pro so the other thing obviously right if you're if you're that one of the bad the best things I find is if I'm looking at Google I can search for whatever it is right so um course income I'm actually going to look for that course income secrets is in my blog right let's just see how many other I guess the Amazon Alexa course income secrets videos in 2020 explore all that that's interesting look at that that's that's actually mine <laughs> 100 plus course income secrets videos in 2020 wow that's cool that's my uh, that's my videos right uh, whoops I should have kept that open sorry course income course income secrets there you go okay so uh then the, then there's all these other things Spotify Facebook clicky learn Facebook Facebook Amazon Alexa skills pin on course income secrets geez is there not anybody else talking about that course income secrets these are a whole bunch of them wow listen free option option income secrets okay so anyways that's just mine so let's just say course income strategies right so this is just my topic right so course on monthly income three passive income strategies to sell courses online seven income ideas to make money in Canada investment okay so um how to create an online course right so you just search for things right you'll find topics to talk about uh in in these searches right how to create an amazing online course how to create an online course in 2020 so then I can of course look at these things and see see my take on it and then do a topic on that right and you can do the same thing if you're into weight loss right how to lose how to lose 20 pounds 20 pounds 20 pounds in one month right so now you would look at this right uh how to lose 20 pounds as fast as possible in uh, 30 days 20 pounds a month complete guide to losing pounds so like if you're into weight loss you're gonna you can look this stuff up and see what people are posting and, and one of the things about Google the cool things about Google search is that when you look at the top when you look at the first topics that'll tell you these are the ones that are people are most interested in it could be well I mean these ones are ads right the ones that say ad ads these are ads so the ad ones they're not really you can't really rely on those because they're they're there because people paid to have them there right whereas these ones 
are sorted by the order of how, at least how Google sees them as being more popular right so it's either depending on the person who created the post that really is is was good at SEO ranking or it's just this is these are the searches that people are doing mostly right how to lose 20 pounds in a month right complete guide to losing 20 pounds in a month how to lose 20 pounds according to experts I lost 20 pounds in 30 days third three ways to lose 20 pounds right how how do I lose 20 pounds in one month right so I mean whatever it is that you're into right I mean I can I can look up uh, how to grow tomatoes indoors right so how to grow tomatoes indoors if you're into you know home home growing vegetables right starting tomatoes indoors instructions indoors how to grow organic tomatoes indoors is it worth it right and talk about the price or things like that or whatever right if you're into that kind of stuff right and then if you have a uh, I actually have this this keyword search thing that I installed it gives me a whole bunch of other options <coughs> that I can <coughs> that I, sh I can just click on it gives me another search <coughs> and it just <coughs> take me <coughs> well, you know <coughs> sorry and then it just takes me to the to the list so that gives you ideas now the other thing like I said is keeping a list keep track of what it is that you have okay yeah let's go back so I was saying that should you be repeating the same stuff right so one of the things you have to realize is that as especially if you're if you're actually growing in whatever topic you're trying to teach or whatever content you're trying to create you're getting better at it you're learning things because you're you're researching it and you're looking at whatever the results you know whatever you're finding right like if say you're 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 wanting to show people how to grow tomatoes indoors right you can be specific like that just tomatoes don't talk about anything else um and then there's a whole bunch of stuff you can find out about that and then you can learn and you try things you do things you know I mean everybody has a different house the the temperature is different in different in the different rooms depending on how much wind gets in through the windows all these things affect your tomato growth right so you could talk about uh what are the best um home um fertilizer you can use for your tomatoes right should be should you use uh coffee grinds should you use um you know a f food from your from your uh, like like should you use um uh the the crust from your from your toast that your kids aren't eating right should you use those things as as fertilizer and then you'll try it right you try it and then you find that the 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 uh the crust from the bread uh is is better if it's uh whole wheat bread versus white bread or something right or maybe it's better if you don't have butter on it so you cut the crust off before you give the toast to your kids if they your kids don't eat the crust maybe you would take advantage of that and you and then you try it and then a few months later you talk about it again right or a few weeks or however long it takes for you to same thing with weight loss I try this try that you lose a bit of weight you can talk about it again you can say hey what's the best way to lose weight well don't eat this or eat that or 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 space your meals a certain amount of time or or go to bed at a certain time or whatever it is that affects your body you can talk about it right so you can talk about it again even though you talked about it before because you've got some new information and the same thing for me for social media online online marketing personal branding attraction marketing all those things as I grow in it as I learn more I can I can get better so if I look at my let's say we look at my blog right if I go to my blog right and I can see all these topics right here right so I don't know is there a way that I can show you because these are it might be easier if I actually show you the um the list of blog posts if I go here right on my back office I'm going to show you the top the posts I have here right so I mean if I search for um person well let's just can I oh yeah I can yeah so let's just uh all categories yeah so if I just show you attraction marketing posts so these are all posts that I'm I flagged as attraction marketing right 
the real story social media basics top 10 attraction marketing and election stuff step-by-step -step guide what are the best strategies to get leads how to build your personal brand how to come up with the right content to post daily see look episode 232 I was talking about how to come up with the right content to post daily right we're kind of talking about the same thing right now right we're talking about how to come up with ideas and that even though I talked about this before that this was when was this the 28th of September so a couple months ago right uh 28 that's almost two almost two months ago now uh but if I keep going right how to become an online rock star in personal branding I talk about personal branding here how, how to decide what to teach in your course what to get uh what how to get people to buy from you online what are the steps to creating success now this is the other way you can come up with content ideas if you know somebody who's in your niche like if I if I look up uh David uh, David's David whoops David Vidalis yeah that that was actually right David Vidalis now he does course creation right online he actually has online course secrets right <laughs> I have course income secrets but he talks about that too right if I look at his I guess he doesn't have a blog I thought he had a blog oh, okay well he doesn't have a blog well I guess there's Megan Harrison does she have a blog I know she's got a, oh yeah does, she's got a um, what's what's her blog Megan hmm, I forget what it is it's something else um but anyways yeah so you can go look up somebody who's in your niche if I look up um anybody who talk, teaches attraction marketing right I can actually do that so attraction so what is whoops what is attraction marketing right I can look that up right and then I can find people that have blogs about this right so this is let's look at some of these because lots of these are let's go to the next Matt's Zavid YouTube LinkedIn I'm just gonna I'm just trying to find Miles Beckler Miles Beckler that might be a person Miles yeah so that's his uh, resources my blog <clears throat> let's look at his blog so if I look at this I can look at this so he's got like look how long does it take to make money blogging uh, how to find low competition keywords how to find your niche in five minutes who is training you if you're the entrepreneur authority hacking pro and then of course he's there's a bunch of other posts right freelance writers funnel script price uh fire your content creation agency best copywriting software shocking simple affiliate math seven basics keep going to the next one uh how to start a blog that makes money so I mean like I said you can find ideas like crazy and then then write them down and kind of organize them in the sequence and then you're ready you don't have to like me like I said I, I definitely should be doing this to kind of clarify my my focus and and things and the other thing is if you ever come up with a oh I should talk about this and you have your list of you know 50 topics or something for the next 50 episodes right for the next year right or well no not next year 50 I guess 260 for a year if you're doing it every day during the week if you're doing it seven days a week obviously it's 365 uh, but yeah so if you have all these lined up and you come up with something you're gonna oh you know what I'm gonna expand on this like me in the perfect webinar last week right I did four or five episodes on the perfect webinar because I was like in the middle of putting it together like I'm doing this webinar on Tuesday right I'm doing this webinar on how to syndicate your content how do you create content and then post it to like 20 or more platforms every day and do it in a way that's efficient do it in a way that's um, um what's the word uh consistent right doing doing it with content that looks and is branded and people recognize when they see it more than once right so how do you do that um and that's one of the things that I I'm doing right with my with my stuff right I'm doing that so I mean 
that it's not because it's not because you haven't come up with um you know one of these things and uh, so yeah so I mean that's the thing how do you find the content right and you know that's basically how you come up with content it's really that simple you just got to search for things that you know you that your audience would be interested in so like I said you got to figure out who your audience is what they're interested in that's the first thing you got to do well yeah so number one figure out your audience who is your audience who is what what's their interest what's their and what they're interested in what are they looking for so what are they looking for online I mean if your audience is somebody who's trying to build a business online well they're going to be interested in learning how to build a business online what are the you know how to build let's just do that how to build a business <coughs> online right so you just search for it just search for what your your ideal customer would be searching for and then go look at what they're talking about so you can see a whole bunch of websites right here entrepreneur business insider you know the balance digital.com shopify.ca suitcase entrepreneur that's probably suitcase entrepreneur when I look at these that's the thing right so you got to find um these uh these nor I mean you could look at the these other sites right the business balance five online business you can start with no money right this is an example right this is okay online video information products drop shipping affiliate marketing and blogging right so these are the five things that you know I'm kind of working on right but he talks about they talk about more what it is affiliate marketing what's affiliate marketing you know basically you pick a niche then you do this and you do that they talk about that so you I could do an episode on that right I could do an episode on blogging I could do an episode on Google Adsense on blog ad network on affiliate marketing uh you know ad networks other than Google like blog ads and run banner ads on your blog same as Google Adsense ads you place a, the code once in your website and then your visitors click right so you can do things like that right uh online video what's the but I mean that's the thing right so it's really that simple you just gotta search but then then what you do is you know like I like I mentioned before you create the uh a list you can make yourself a list what are the things you're going to talk about in the next, next little while and then if you want to make it really much better then you can research that particular thing when you're about ready to create the content right so you can research it you can you know put do screenshots do pictures things like that and you can do all that with you know like I said with these these searches are the start of what you want to do how do you figure out what to talk about now I know I I've been kind of like rambling on here and it's like not one of my best episodes but uh but you know that's kind of one of the things right when you're trying to figure out what to talk about it's it's as simple as searching searching for things that your audience is going to be searching for all right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.